Guess who's back? Back again. Richard's back. Tell your friends. <laughs> Don't hold that against me. I I know. I know. Um, I'm back, guys. I it's sort of. I apologize because it's been a long, agonizing process trying to throw some kind of a piece of crap computer together just to be able to bring you guys more videos. Um, right now, I want to show you something. For those people who have or will uh, make a donation to help me build a better computer, because right now I'm literally running an old Dell um, high school lab computer. Uh, great days of, uh, what, 4 gigs of RAM and a... Uh, I don't know, 1.7 gigahertz 4-core Pentium processor. But I do have a little cheap NVIDIA Walmart special uh, graphics card that seems to be holding its own. But anyway, let's get to this here. I just want to show you guys something here. Uh, for those people who do ma make a donation, I am releasing this content pack to you guys. I've spent a fair amount of time uh, creating a whole bunch of assets, including uh, spine-based. Uh, let's see. Whoops. See, we're still we're still running slow here. Uh, spine-based gravel road, which actually looks a whole lot better when it's lit and it has its own uh, uh, collisions. Um, this fence assets, the gate assets, all these trees you see in here. Um, my grass, my textures. I have be playing with uh, Photoshop, so I have been taking pictures and making my own seamless textures and whatnot. Um, also, I'm running a day-night cycle, which still does need to be uh, a little bit of played with here, but I'm going to actually use it to do a tutorial video on a day-night cycle, because as I recall, all of my videos that I've posted so far have been set with... Uh, leaving it up to you to build your levels. But to help you guys do that, I will uh, release also these trees. Um, they're hand-built by yours truly in, um, uh, what do you call that, uh, speed tree. Um, also, <laughs> this is going to be awesome. Uh, it's going to have this little folder here, Richard's content. I do have an AI system as well for your basic zombie, um, the AI logic as well. And there's like it's the legit way it's not just in blueprints in the AI controller uh, so I do have all the tasks and stuff to get you set up with if you wanna just have a fun um, survival instance game uh, I also am releasing to I submitted this to the UE4 marketplace it's still in review status uh, there is also a custom paint job pack for the UE4 mannequin guy and that's exciting because it is awesome to be able to tell the difference between who's friends and foes. Now this project I am setting up, it is going to be my baseline for all my videos coming up, and all my tutorial videos. And I will be updating this content pack and posting it um, to the download host I have. And those who donate will get an automatic email saying I have posted an update and they will get the download for all the assets and before I even do the release the tutorial videos um, I will update the assets so you don't even have to follow along I will do the work for you and that is all I ask is to help me build a better computer to bring you guys more content um, Anyway, let's get back to this. Uh, I'm going to show you the mesh here. So we got your UE4 standard mannequin dude. Um, I'm going to show you the zombie, and it's going to be awesome. So I'll put the zombie one. Whoops. Material zombie. Okay. And this was all done in Substance Painter, handcrafted by also yours truly. And see, I'm bogging right down. Just computer can't handle high graphic settings on here um, yeah so anyway he looks good bruised um, dead looking Do definitely can tell he's a zombie you can actually kind of see eye sockets and a mouth here um, I'm also gonna do this I'm gonna do turn the turntable on here just to give you guys an idea let's see if I can get back okay anyway so now the next one too for your uh, for uh, the dude 
that your character can play. He kind of looks like a battered, uh, futuristic SWAT guy, and I called it Scratched Metal, and it actually looks really wicked, like, especially when you have all the settings turned up, and these materials are not just basic materials. I baked out every channel to these materials, every single one, at 1024 uh, by 1024 um, textures as well. So I wanted to show you guys that. And as I said, these things are going to keep growing and growing. Whoops. And this is the this is the pack I am releasing to you guys, including like uh, buildings, um, any meshes I do, uh, anything, anything in my videos. This like if I'm doing a tutorial video and I bust out something, and you want it, make a donation. It doesn't even have to it, like. I don't know, dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, it doesn't matter. Just make any kind of donation. You'll get on the list. It's through GoFundMe, so you guys get emails every single time I update it, and I will be updating it. And I do appreciate all your help, and this is what I'm bringing to you guys. I'm bringing the heat, boys. I'm bringing the heat. Oh, and I might as well show that, uh, let's see here, simulate. Oh, 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 F11. Let's go full screen. Oh, it doesn't want to register full screen. Um, immersive mode and game view. Now you can see all my little zombies in the background. They are running away. They are hunting for the player right now. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do a tutorial on AI logic because it is a very complicated thing. But the basics are simple. So I might do the basics for you guys, at least. Like, these zombie dudes are actually kind of somewhat sophisticated for AIs. But, yes, and trees have wind. Woohoo! Great day for hay. Anyway, boys and girls and people that are just people, we'll, we'll go with it. We'll go with it. I will... Uh, Release this tomorrow, Friday, November, what is it today, the 22nd, so 23rd, and uh, yeah, you'll get the email. Please help me out, I'll help you out, and we'll go from there. Thanks guys, peace out.